Hello friends, this is Aditya Venya and you are watching Electric Vehicles India. Friends, welcome to EV News. In this video, let's discuss some of the latest updates and interesting news from our EV industry. So without any delay, let's dive into the video. Friends, first news is from Ola. Have any one of you visited Ola Electric Service Centers recently? Why? Because a news has been speculating in Twitter recently about a Ola Service Center. So one of the customer who is living in Mumbai has booked an appointment with the Ola Service Center and he finally took his electric scooter to the service center. There is no one to look after him. There is no job card written for his issues on the Ola Electric Scooter. And in addition, bouncers were at the service center to reply the heated arguments of the Ola customers. As we all know that as of now, Ola service is pathetic in all Ola service centers pan India. Or to reply with the Ola customers, the company has appointed bouncers as of that post. So this post is getting viral in Twitter recently. So I just want to know really is Ola appointed bouncers to tackle with the customers or not. So if anyone of you visited Ola service centers recently, please let me know if you found any bouncers at the Ola service centers or not. Friends, next news is from Royal Enfield. As we all know that Royal Enfield is all geared up to launch their first electric bike. So they are going to unveil this electric bike on November 4th at EICMA event. So before the unveil, we got a leaked picture about this Royal Enfield's first electric bike. So Royal Enfield has already dropped a teaser regarding this electric bike. And we already got a patented image of this Royal Enfield's first electric bike. But looking at the real time image, I got disappointed a bit because it's very slow. Royal Enfield's petrol bikes are known for their royal driving position and soothing sound. We can't expect such soothing sound from this Royal Enfield's electric bike but the riding posture is also a bit compromised. So this electric bike looks very slim from the front. By looking at this image we can say that most of the electronic components are borrowed from their petrol bikes like the headlamp is borrowed from the recently launched Himalayan. The round LED console might be taken from the same Himalayan. The side indicators are taken from the recently launched to Gorilla. The suspension is a new setup and we can clearly see the motor position, the single seat and the rear side indicators of this electric bike in this leaked picture. We will get to know more details about the specific design specifications and the overall looks of this electric bike on November 4th. But as of now by looking at this leaked image I got a bit disappointed. So what's your opinion on the design of this Royal Enfield's first electric bike? Please let me in the comments. Friends, next news is from Ultraviolet. Recently, Ultraviolet has got UNECE certificate. UNEC stands for United Nations Economic Commission for Europe. So with this certificate, now Ultraviolet can sell their electric bikes in 40 countries in India. As we all know that recently, Ultraviolet has started exporting their electric bikes to European market. And from now, they can sell their electric bikes in 40 plus countries worldwide. Ultraviolet is also going to showcase their F77 Mark II electric bike in EICMA event. And I recently made a dedicated review video on this Ultraviolet F77 Mark II electric bike. If you missed that video, I'll leave the links for that video in the description. Please go ahead and check out the brutal power of this electric bike in my dedicated review. So till now, no Indian brand has exported the two-wheelers to the European market. Ultraviolet is the first company from India who started exporting their electric bikes to European markets. Friends, next news is from Bengaluru. The current travel time from Bengaluru city to airport is nearly 2 hours. But soon this travel time is going to decrease below 20 minutes. As Bengaluru people is going to travel from Bengaluru city to airport in just 20 minutes with the help of electric flying cabs. Yes, recently Bengaluru International Airport Limited has tied up with an aviation company called Sarla Aviation. So with this partnership, they are going to develop an electric flying taxis to travel travel from Bengaluru city to Bengaluru airport. The Sarla Aviation is already working on developing an electric aircraft called eVTOL. So this aircraft is going to be powered by electric and it will take off and land vertically just like an helicopter. It will have six seater options along with a pilot and this can travel up to a top speed of 250 km per hour and the range is going to be somewhere around 150 to 160 km on a single charge. So if this flying electric taxi gets launched, the 
the current travel time from Bengaluru city to airport which is of 2 hours can be reduced to just 19 minutes and as per the company the fare is going to be as low as 1700 rupees for each person everything is fine till now but this flying air taxis is a future technology in India to set the correct infrastructure and to frame guidelines for this technology it takes more 5 to 10 years of time and currently the Sarla aviation is in the designing stage itself from designing they have to move to the prototype from there to various levels of testing certification launching and implementing in real life so I think this takes 5 to 10 years of time to travel from Bangalore city to airport in 19 minutes but one positive thing is companies are thinking towards this development and soon we can definitely see these kind of technologies in India Friends, next news is from Hyundai. Hyundai is going to launch their third electric car in India and that is going to be Hyundai Creta EV. Till now, we already saw some of the leaked images and testing footages of this Creta EV. I think Hyundai is going to launch this Creta EV in 2025 Auto Expo, which will be held in Jan 2025. Till now, Hyundai is offering only two electric cars in India and there are Hyundai Kona EV and Hyundai Ionic EV. In terms of sales, both these electric cars couldn't able to perform well, but Hyundai is aiming a good number of sales for this Creta EV as the Creta IC version is one of the best selling model in the whole Hyundai lineup. So Hyundai may launch this Creta EV in two battery pack variants. Base variant may get 45 kilowatt hour battery pack and the top end variant may get 55 kilowatt hour battery pack. From the base variant we can expect 430 kilometers and from the top end variant we can expect to find out 2 kilometers of range. And following the Hyundai Creta EV, Hyundai is geared up to launch three more electric cars by the end of 2026. So what's your opinion on this Hyundai Creta EV please let me in the comments Friends, last news is from Mahindra. Mahindra is a bit behind in the EV race compared to Hyundai and Tata. So Mahindra is planning to launch their XUV 3XO car in the electric version. Already Mahindra is working on this electric car and we already saw some of the testing images of this XUV 3XO electric car. Mahindra has launched this XUV 3XO in the IC variant and it got a very good popularity from the public. So Mahindra is planning to replicate the same strategy in the electric variant. So if this gets launched, it sits below the currently available Mahindra XUV 400. So coming to the specifications, this electric car may get 34.5 kilowatt hour battery pack and 39.4 kilowatt hour battery pack. In the base variant, we can expect 359 kilometers, and in the top end variant, we can expect 456 kilometers of claimed range. So with this specification, this XUV 3X4 electric car is going to compete with Tata Nexon EV. And following this launch, Mahindra will also launch their top end electric cars and and they are Mahindra E8, Mahindra E9 and Mahindra BE05. Mahindra is already started testing these electric cars on our Indian roads. So Mahindra has a very good opportunity to capture the market but as of now they are very late. So these are some of the latest updates and interesting news from our EV industry for this week. What's your opinion on this video? Please leave it in the comments and if you found the video informative please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe Electric Vehicles India. Go green, go electric.